Okay. Yeah. Hello there. Who are you? There's no need to be so cautious. I'm not your enemy. There shouldn't be anyone else here besides us. So who are you? <laughs> Perhaps there are no others here in this tower from your world besides you and your allies. But you should know, this place is a slightly larger receptacle than you imagine it to be. Countless overlapping times and planes cross over within this tower. This is a place of possibility. Possibility? People always say that what-ifs don't exist. There's no place for them in the timeline. But it's not quite true that they don't exist. Any part of history has what-if points. But these points are merely possibilities, not actualities. They never really occurred for people to observe. And so, since they exist only as possibilities, they're treated as not part of our reality. But they exist within this tower. What was impossible outside this place is actually possible here. So, what ifs are possible within this tower? Is that what you're saying? You all should know this by now. There are beings who had the possibility of existing, yet in reality they didn't. And so they hold a grudge against the living. You have all battled these people so many times. It can't be. Are you saying that the enemies who attack us are these people? <laughs> they envy you because you have transcended possibility and merged into actuality. These emotions turn to jealousy and eventually hatred. That's what you've been facing here. But you aren't the ones at fault. You can't help it. Though your very existence is fuel for their jealousy. Who are you really? Why do you know such things and why are you telling me this? I am just a child. I am destined to exist alone, separate. It was determined that I'm not allowed to live. Not allowed to live? It was fun talking to you. I'll come again. Wh wait! And he's gone. What was that all about? <laughs>